mind. I was really surprised by this. Very surprised. Yeah, damn. I, uh, I, I got to hit with Animal one. Crossing. <laughs> Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's uh, big in 2020. Al Alberto, ask me, now that you have food in your mouth, um, how many minutes of Animal Crossing I have actually played? Are you talking you or Haley and Lily? Me. Yeah. How many minutes have I personally played of Animal Crossing? How, how many, many minutes think? have you personally I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. How many minutes do you guys think I have played Animal Crossing? I think you personally, 15, but I think you got all the excitement watching, you know, your two most loved ones. I'm home. saying zero minutes. I'm saying you have not touched the game yourself. I say 15 just to help set it up for Lily. Yeah, I don't think you played it at all. But you enjoyed watching minutes. Haley and Lily play it. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, what was your guess? 60 solid minutes. 60 minutes in total. Um, I have I have not played a single minute. I knew it. Oh, no. Animal Crossing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> New Horizons. Here's why I am excited about Animal Crossing and why I put it up as my favorite video game released. Because you guys are you pretty much said it already, but I, I'm not necessarily watching them play Animal Crossing. I've got other stuff that I'm doing when they are doing that. Is and it because it made them leave you alone? <laughs> no. God, that's kind of rude. Wow. No. Um, Sometimes, am, yeah, sometimes when you're a dad and and you please say that when sometimes just getting your your children to get their own things sometimes it's good to have the give them true. their own things. That's very true. That is so, very very so true, Bobby. All the time they can spend with them, but sometimes you need them to just take a couple minutes so you can have your own time. Very true. Yeah. Um, that's not necessarily what's going on here, but I mean there are moments where that's probably the case, <laughs> but um. I just love the fact that I was able to find a video game, which is in general a, a hobby that I really enjoy. Um, and it's something that Lily kind of enjoys sometimes with me. And my wife, love her to pieces. She never has time for anything like this. And yep. she never finds anything like this that really connects with her on any way. Um, with the exception of years ago, she got into Viva Pinata randomly on the 360. Um, definitely her, like, like, but I realized, okay, so I took a risk for Christmas and decided to sell a ton of stuff I had here in the man cave. I purged four different systems along with several different libraries of games. Don't tell us what they are. Actually, um, I don't know what they are. I, no, I can't. It was a Wii U, a Wii, another Wii uh a 360 and a psp five so five systems um sold them all sold a ton of games and accessories to go with them uh and i bought Haley her own switch and this game and i was a huge risk on my part because she saw that i got a switch for my birthday back in october and was like well when it, where's my game what am i gonna get to play what's the big um, game for me and she was kind of joking and kind of not and I was like, yeah, I'm tired of being a dick who's taking all the video games. So let me try and do my best to find something that that hopefully she'll enjoy. Um, and she's she's really enjoying it. Like she's probably upstairs playing it right now as we're yeah. talking. Um, and it's something that she's enjoying to do. Her, her job is extremely stressful. She works in medicine. And this past year has been extremely stressful for everybody yeah, working in medicine. And she said after the first week like after christmas she's like thank you so much this is a wonderful gift i didn't ask for it but it has been a real a, a real gift to be able to go to something to just unwind and relax and find something positive and productive because the game is very like task oriented very production based like it fits the way that she thinks like very like task oriented, job oriented, goal oriented, like all of that stuff that fits her personality so well. And it's just very relaxing for her. And I'd heard all of those things about the game and was like, okay, well, roll the dice. Let's see if this works. Um, and she's loving it. And Lily's loving sitting awesome. down with her and doing it together as like a mom and daughter kind of thing. And so for me, it is my favorite game of the year because I get to enjoy them enjoying it which is something like enjoy them enjoying something around a That's hobby great. that I love. I love like I, I never really had that opportunity to, to observe that from the outside. And I, 
I love it. So that's why I picked that choice. So. The funny thing is, is Animal Crossing literally is doing a job. It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't life, understand how life in a video game. game. <laughs> like after a whole day of working, right. they're like, I want to go do a job. <laughs> like, right. But, but it's funny because Haley was like, she was actually telling me just the other day, she's like, this thing, this thing is like, it's like it was made for my brain. That's awesome. Man. I'm like, that's so great. Constantly finding myself thinking about, oh, I could do this and then I could go there and I could get this. And it wasn't I, it like the and, big video game release right when COVID was hitting? Yeah, it yes. It was it was right, right when like quarantine was hitting, that and Doom Eternal came out on the yeah. same day. And I was all like, they both came out on Valentine's Day. That, what was that, Christian? I, I think they both came out on Valentine's Day, didn't they? Was it Valentine's Day? It might have yeah, been. Valentine's I think Day. it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was the um, perfect pandemic. Honestly, that yeah. game could not have released at a better time. Yeah. Yep. For sure. So, so yeah. So that was my choice. That was a really long explanation. I apologize, but um, it was a great explanation. That was a yeah. Great well worth. Christian. Christian. Uh,